We tried. The uh, I had power at the starter, and that was it. No power nowhere else. No power at the key. Um, and I'll be honest with y'all, I'm just kind of tired of messing with it. I want to get it out, keep working on the truck, start cleaning stuff up. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull the motor out. I'm going to pull the core support off and then uh, keep unhooking things. You know, the truck's going to get a whole new harness, all that mess. So basically everything's coming off the truck except the truck but we went ahead and pulled the hood that way we could get in here and work easier and before the other motor goes in i will clean up the firewall and these inner fenders I'm gonna clear coat the firewall i'm not sure about the inner fenders yet i don't know if we'll paint them or just leave them be but i think the firewall will turn that pretty blue again if we clean it up and then if we clear coat it it'll stay that way but uh just pulling stuff loose get the six cylinder out of here Got the straps off the U-joint, got the drive shaft dropped down. Gonna snatch it out of there. Or has some stinky, nasty fluid in it. And then core sports off. Saws all dissolved off. Cutting wiring and stuff. We getting a little closer. Trucks a really good height to work on so far as having to reach over to fenders and stuff, but it's a little low to get underneath it. So probably gonna have to jack it up to get the mounts and all loose on it. All right, we are under the truck. Got one jack stand up there at the front. This truck on a little bit of an angle. Speedo cable took loose. Uh, this rod went in there. That's the clutch rod. This is the shifter linkage, but it's took loose at the top and zip tied. Got one trans bolt out. It's got a staked washer on it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Where it's at, over there. I gotta go around the other side to get to it. But uh, pretty much everything, once I take the other one of them loose, then the trans mounts will be loose. Put a floor jack under here. The motor mounts are loose, so we're almost ready to pull the motor and trans out. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll get it out. All right, these old six cylinders have got these clamp-on manifolds, intake and exhaust. Got these little deals here that pull them down, so you can't really pull by those. Unfortunately, the only good spot in the back to pull, we're going to pull that head bolt out, and then probably come across here and grab maybe that bolt there pull on the same side but it'll be okay i'm gonna pull the valve cover off before we don't mush it up because the valve cover is nice so that's the plan well the day has come old blue's gonna lose the six cylinder he was born with but uh, dad pointed something out i want to show it to y'all so we've been steady knocking dirt daubers off of this truck that one right there is about the size of a slice of pizza I guess it's just where he was parked. Lots of red clay. Lots of dirt daubers. Better than wasps, though. We had a whole bunch of them in some of them GTOs. We're going to see if we can get this motor out.
there's old blue without a heartbeat but don't worry it's gonna have at least half again as much horsepower as he had the first time maybe i don't know what they say about six cylinders six in a row ready to tow i don't know if uh, all the camshaft 62 ls can compete with that but i know it'll do better burnouts get get all this cleaned up uh, i think i gotta cut that out not sure but i like it definitely gonna clean the firewall while it's out i'm gonna get the rest of this stuff pulled through this is the speedo cable i'm not sure if a 4l80e will use one of those or not it would be awesome if it would that way we can make the original speedo work and then i'll just use my little holly dash for the gauges there it is got it kind of strapped to the cart where we don't think it'll go anywhere we are going to sell this motor in trans try and find it a home i don't think i'm going to let the valve cover go with it though i think i want to clean that up paint it maybe put some little tack some little hooks on it you know hanging on the wall to hang keys on or something because it's super cool but uh I mean, the motor's freed up. We didn't get it to run. So, you know, a little disappointed in that, but I really didn't want to try to rewire the front of this truck. I really just wanted to get the motor out and keep making progress. So there you go. There's old blue. That's what we got going on. I like it. I think it's gonna be an awesome daily driver. I appreciate y'all watching the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button for me. Throw a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you don't think. You know, whatever. What you don't like. What you don't like. Yeah, if you got ideas, stuff that we could do differently. Um, you know, if you're like, hey, this would be really cool. Do this to the truck. You know, blah, blah, blah. Stuff that maybe we haven't mentioned or haven't thought of. I have an idea. What's your idea? Uh, 56 fat fendered Ford F100. Yeah. My favorite old pickup. What about it? And I'm a Chevrolet guy. But yeah. That's still the fa my favorite old pickup. What's your idea? Build one of those instead of this. Oh. Put that 354 Hemi in it. Yeah. Well, if you can find a deal on a good 56 F100, you let me know. With a big back window. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're giving those away. Yes, they sure are. Take it, two suitcases full of money. Yeah, yeah. But, it's guys, crazy. here we are. That's the progress we've made. I'm going to make some more. Uh, probably try to get the truck pretty much ready for a motor and trans prior to building the motor and trans, and that way once they're built, we can stab them in there. Uh, go ahead and get the rear end swap. we got to C-notch the frame and all that, so... Y'all be looking forward to that in a future video. I hope you'll follow along with this build. I'm excited about it. It'd be nice to have another little hot rod daily driver. You know, I had that little S10 and obviously I tore it up. So instead of fixing the S10, we're gonna put a motor in this truck, which I am excited about. And we're gonna do it on a pretty good budget uh, or pretty small budget. Um, I'll show y'all kind of what I've been keeping track of so far. And of course there's gonna be a bunch of little things, but I'm gonna try to keep track of it. Uh, Here's where we are so far, uh, a little less than $2,000. And those are legit prices. That is what I have paid cash money for stuff. But I am one of those people that haunts Facebook Marketplace and looks for deals or word of mouth. Like this truck was word of mouth from another fellow I knew at work. So there you go. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one and be blessed.